name's Charlie and I'm a nutritionist working on the education team at the British Nutrition Foundation. Today in this video podcast I'm going to talk to you about healthy eating and also explain the Eat Well Plate which is the healthy eating model within the UK. I'll also be talking about why it's really important that we get plenty of fruits and vegetables in our diet every day and I'll also explain how easy it is for you to reach at least five portions of fruit and veg. The Eat Well Plate is a healthy eating model for the UK. It's shaped like a dinner plate so it makes healthy eating easier and simpler to understand and interpret. It also shows the different types and amounts of foods that we should be eating to have a healthy, varied and balanced diet. The Eat Well Plate is made up of five different food groups, so let's have a look at each of the food groups in turn. The fruit and vegetable food group should make up a third of our diet. We need to eat plenty of fruit and vegetables every day, aiming for at least five portions. It is important to eat a variety of fruit and veg, as different types contain different nutrients. By eating a mix of different fruit and vegetables, we can help to make sure our bodies are getting the nutrients they need. Fresh, frozen, canned, juiced and dried types of fruit and vegetables all count, which means there are lots to choose from, so there's no need to get bored. The bread, rice, potatoes, pasta and other starchy foods group should make up a third of our diet. Try to have these sorts of foods at every meal and make sure you have a good mix. For example, you could have a bowl of cereal for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch and pasta, rice or potatoes with your evening meal. Starchy foods provide us with energy as well as some important nutrients and fibre to help keep us fit and healthy. The milk and dairy foods group is important in our diet as these foods provide calcium which we need for strong and healthy teeth and bones. Milk, cheese and yoghurt are all good examples of foods that fit into this group. Try to have several foods from this group each day to make sure you get the calcium your body needs. For example, a glass of milk, a pot of yoghurt or a matchbox sized piece of cheese. Next, let's look at the meat, fish, eggs, beans and other sources of non-dairy protein food group. Fish, meat, eggs, bread kidney beans, baked beans, lentils, tofu and nuts are all types of food that would fit into this group. These foods provide us with protein which we need for growth, development and repair. They also provide some important nutrients such as iron, B vitamins, vitamin D, zinc and omega-3 fatty acids. And lastly, foods and drinks that are high in fat and or sugar food group. Foods such as cakes, biscuits, crisps, spread, mayonnaise and sugary carbonated drinks all fit into this group. Although these foods add choice and taste to our diet, they should be used sparingly if we have them every day, such as butter, spreads or margarine, or not had too often, so foods such as sweets, cakes, biscuits, crisps and sugary carbonated drinks. These types of foods and drinks are high in energy, so it's important not to have them too frequently. It is okay to have them occasionally, but just remember not to have them all day, every day. The Eat Well Plate applies to most people, whether they're vegetarian or whether they're from different ethnic backgrounds. It also applies whether you're young or old. There's no one food that will give you all the nutrients that you need in your diet. So that's why it's important to eat a mix and variety of different foods from the different food groups. No single food contains all the essential nutrients that the body needs to be healthy and function efficiently. Different foods contain different vitamins and minerals. Therefore, a healthy diet should include a variety of foods to ensure all the vitamins and minerals are provided. For example, dairy foods such as milk and yoghurts are great sources of calcium, but they are a poor source of vitamin C. Citrus fruits are good sources of vitamin C, but they don't provide any iron. The balance of the Eat Well plate doesn't have to be achieved at every single meal. It can be achieved over the whole day or even over several days. The important thing is to make sure that you're getting the balance right, so that you're eating more foods from the larger four food groups and less foods from the smallest one. The Eat Well Plate is based on the government's eight guidelines for a healthy diet. These are, base your meals on starchy foods, eat lots of fruit and vegetables, 
Eat more fish, including a portion of oily fish each week. Cut down on saturated fat and sugar. Try to eat less salt, no more than six grams a day for adults. Get active and try to be a healthy weight. Drink plenty of water and don't skip breakfast. So why is it important to eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables every day? Well, it's important because they contain important nutrients such as vitamin A, vitamin C, folate and potassium. They're also high in fibre, which we need to keep our gut healthy. And fruit and vegetables also contain substances known as antioxidants, and these have been shown to help protect us against diseases in later life, such as heart disease or cancer. And finally, fruit and vegetables are also low in energy and fat. So it means that we can eat plenty of them to get all the nutrients that we need without exceeding our energy requirements. And this means that we can stay a healthy weight. So how can you get your five portions of fruit and veg a day? Well, in actual fact, it couldn't be easier. So I'm now going to give you some examples of how you can get your five a day from your breakfast, lunch and dinner. So for example, for breakfast, you can whiz up a quick fruit smoothie. Pop a banana in a blender. Just break it up a little bit so that it's easier just to mix up. Add some strawberries, a yogurt, and finally a glass of milk. Then you just need to pop on the lid and it's ready to whiz up. So now we just need to pour the smoothie. Other examples of how you can get your five a day for breakfast include adding a chopped banana, apple or dried raisins to your cereal, muesli or porridge, having grilled tomatoes, mushrooms or baked beans with a cooked breakfast, or you could go for peanut butter and banana on toast. For lunch you could try out having cucumber sticks and carrot sticks with hummus, as well as some bread. So here we've just got some cucumber sticks that you can then dip into the hummus. Other options for lunch to help you reach your five a day include having maybe vegetable soup, jacket potatoes with different fillings such as baked beans or a veggie and bean chilli, or you could go for tuna with sweet corn and onion, or lots of salad in your sandwich fillings. Or you could go for a piece of fruit such as an apple, satsuma or plum. If you're feeling peckish, why not snack on a piece of fruit, some dried fruit or a fruit smoothie? So for your evening meal, you could go for lots of veggies with things like stir fries. And to this, I'm going to add mushrooms, some broccoli and also some red pepper. great way to get lots of vegetables into your evening meal and by this point I'm sure you've reached your at least five a day. Other ideas for your evening meal to get five a day include having lots of veggies such as sweet corn, peas, green beans or broccoli. You could also go for vegetable dishes such as cauliflower cheese or why not add extra vegetables, beans or pulses to sauces such as tomatoes, onions and courgettes for a pasta sauce or red kidney beans or lentils and soups. You could also go for extra veggies and other dishes such as casseroles, for example carrots, parsnips and kicked celery. So that's it for the first video podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it and learnt lots about fruit and vegetables. We'll be back later in the year and next time we'll be looking at the second food group, bread, rice, potatoes, pasta and other starchy foods. In the meantime, if you need any more information, why not visit www.nutrition.org.uk. Thanks and see you soon.